what is up guys welcome to jpr tech channel this is the puerto rican living in japan talking about tech cameras and all that good stuff in between now today i got a review the satechi x1 slim keyboard for max now i know in youtube there are a lot of videos covering this very popular keyboard and that's why I'm not going to be focusing on specs and too much details on the keyboard. This is going to be more of a personal experience with using the keyboard with the M1 Mac Mini. Now, spoiler alert, I did return the keyboard. But if you want to stick around and find out why I had to return it. And also, I'm going to share what I really like about the keyboard. And really, Satechi has something going for them. But of course, I'll give you my thoughts, my overall thoughts on why I ended up returning it in the first place. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing that stands out to me when I pull the keyboard out of the box is that it looks like it was made by Apple. And they do market the keyboard as a keyboard designed for Apple users. Now there are two colors that um, you can purchase. There's the dark gray, the light gray. I elected to go with the dark gray because it just looks really cool. And also, I do have a dual-sided color desk mat on my desk. And actually, both colors complement well the keyboard. So it looks fantastic on a minimalistic, very modern, slick-looking desk area. But of course, being a keyboard review, before we get going with my thoughts on the keyboard, let's just hear what it sounds like. So here is a typing test for you guys out there. But some of you actually care what a keyboard sounds like. And you know what? I'm one of them. That's why I am replacing the RK71, which I love typing on. It's a fantastic keyboard. It has amazing battery life. It has no issues connecting with my M1 Mac Mini. But unfortunately, it's just too loud that it was starting to get irritating on my ears. Now, that could be because I am getting old, but I had to find a quieter, a silent keyboard. So this is what it sounds like. Now, I hope that was helpful for you guys out there. So now that you know what the keyboard sounds like, let's dig in more and tell, talk about my experience using this Satechi X1 Slim keyboard with the based M1 Mac Mini. The cool thing about this keyboard, it does connect to up to three different devices, whether they're MacBook, MacBook Air, iMacs, even iPad I, and an iPhone, I guess, if you want to use it on your iPhone. So if your Mac doesn't support continuity, you could still benefit using one keyboard on three different devices. So after pairing my M1 Mac Mini, I realized that even though this keyboard looks like an Apple product, it doesn't perform or have the quality control of an Apple product. Yeah, I started experiencing connecting issues. It, I will get repeated strokes constantly uh, sometimes if i just leave the keyboard idle for a few seconds it will just disconnect and i will have to hit a key a couple of times to wake it up and especially when i have the backlit lights on that would even get it would even get worse now satechi did implement a battery saving timer that after three minutes of inactivity the keyboard will fall asleep it sometimes works fine, but at times it felt like three seconds because it was just all of a sudden I would leave the keyboard alone for just a few seconds and then it would just disconnect. And I'm glad I got that on tape. So as you can see in the B-roll, sometimes it just all of a sudden stops. So I will have to turn off the keyboard, turn it back on to connect again, and then it will be fine. Now, this could be just my unit because a lot of YouTubers didn't mention this in their reviews. Some of the comments in the Amazon review section mentioned they had connecting issues where it will fall asleep too soon or disconnect after time. So I don't know, your mile may, may vary, your unit might be different. So this could be just a case of quality control issue that a bad unit slipped out and I happened to receive it. Well, we can just use the included USB-C cable to plug it up to the Mac Mini and use it as a USB keyboard. That actually defeats the purpose of buying a Bluetooth keyboard in the first place. You want to go wireless and be uh, portable. Now, taking a look at the physical side of things, for such a compact design keyboard, 
the keys are nice and spacious they're a little flat but they're really compact looking and generous so it should be easy to type on but i did feel that the satachi one was just ever so slightly mushier than the apple keyboards now i have a few apple keyboards to test on such as my apple usb keyboard as well as my macbook airs keyboard those keyboards are just the uh, benchmark the standard for chiclet style keyboards now satachi did a great job fantastic but um it was just ever slightly mushier or firmer than the apple real apple products now that's not a deal breaker you know this is all subjective how we like the the bounce and the reflect of the keys that's all personal but for me it's actually not a deal breaker i got used to it quick and i was typing away pretty easily with this keyboard my favorite feature on this keyboard is the backlit lights that it does have and it, it has generously given us 10 levels of brightness adjustment so you could tweak the brightness tone it to your liking backlight is a godsend for typing at night it's just a necessity at this point now from my eyes the keyboard does suffer from bleeding around the edges of a lot of the keys it's not as bad as it sounds but it's just i gotta put it out there let you guys know but looking at it from the top view it's not a big deal it's not bleeding that bad now speaking of keys let's talk about the actual typing experience now personally i liked it it was great but out of the box the keyboard is just so slim so flat that it did feel a little bit uncomfortable to type for long periods of time but again this is just a personal opinion we it's all subjective with the angles so that it for people like me satechi included rubber feet that you could glue to the bottom of the keyboard and help out with the angle but you notice what i just said right there glue to the bottom of the keyboard so this is a permanent solution and i think it's a little bit too cheap and just like an afterthought when they designed the keyboard it would have been better if they implemented this internally with the keyboard like just a little little flaps that could just flap out or maybe have magnetic legs like the rk71 that is a chinese branded cheap old keyboard and they even thought about that so satechi could have taken a note from them and sadly you know adding those rubber feet does make the keyboard look cheap if you ask me and adds a little bit of bulk to it so you know if you want to take the keyboard on the go with you and slide it in your bag you're going to have those rubber dimples that stick out that you have to count for so you have to choose between practicality or portability and in conclusion guys that's pretty much it those are my thoughts on my experience on using the satechi the x1 slim keyboard i really wanted to like this when i pulled this out of the box it just looked so good on my desk with my m1 mac mini but just those two flaws the connecting issues and also the tilt the angle it was just very unfortunate it does check two very important points that i need and require of a keyboard and that is the backlit lights as well as being quiet i want the typing experience to be quiet because i do work remotely a lot i'm in zoom a lot i have conference meetings and my mechanical keyboard the rk71 was just too loud for my work environment and that is why you know i'm a little sad to let this keyboard go and return it i really wanted to like it it's just unfortunate that it didn't work out if you want to find out what i ended up replacing the satechi keyboard with hit the little bell to notify you when that video is up because i will be uh, sharing a review video of my new acquire slim keyboard and just as a spoiler alert it works fantastic out of the box it has everything i wanted reliable connection typing is smooth and buttery and very responsive and it has backlit light and it's thin profile so it's got all the cheekbones teched if you want to find that out just stay subscribed hit the little bell and that video will be coming up soon for those of you that are curious i will be uploading a video comparing what the satechi x1 keyboard 
sounds like compared to the Apple keyboard. I, I did do a comparison to it. So if you are interested in that, it will be on my channel up soon. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.